All right, so the last thing we're going to do is find equations for horizontal and vertical lines when given a point. Um, and we'll see what our equations look like for this. So it passes through the point 2, 4. So 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. So it passes through this point here. So our horizontal line will draw in red. And our vertical line will draw in purple. Right, so we're going to find both of these in our slope intercept form. So y is equal to mx plus b. All right, so if we want to solve for our horizontal line, we just need to find another point. Let's just pick this point here, which is point zero four. All right, so we have the point zero four, and we have the point two four. So our slope is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So we can call this x1, y1, and x2, y2. And this is then equal to 4 minus 4 over top of uh, 2 minus 0, which is then equal to 0 divided by 2, which is equal to 0. So our slope in this case is equal to 0. So then we have y is equal to 0x plus b. All right, so that means 0 times anything we know is equal to 0. So our x variable no longer exists. So we now know y is equal to b. And remember, just like we did for the other one, if we want to solve for a b, we need to pick a point and plug it in. So it doesn't matter which point you pick. Let's just pick this one here. When we plug it in, our y value is equal to 4. So we can say 4 for our y. We don't have an x, so we won't plug the 0 in anywhere. So 4 is equal to b. So that means our equation, y is equal to mx plus b, well, we know our m is equal to 0, so that will cancel out our x. So it's just y is equal to b, which we said b is equal to 4, so y is equal to 4. All right, so when we have a horizontal line, our equation is just y is equal to, and then it'll be equal to whatever y value we have. See how both of these are y value is 4? So it's y is equal to 4. So for horizontal lines, it's always going to be written as y is equal to 4. All right, so now let's do our vertical line. Same thing, y is equal to mx plus b. First thing we need to solve for is our slope. So we have this point here that we already know is 2, 4. And let's just pick this point, um, 2, comma 0. All right, so we have the points 2, 4, and we have the points 2, comma 0. All right, so now in this case, we have um, our slope is equal to um, y2 minus y1 over top of x2 minus x1. So this is then equal to, uh, let's make this x1, y1, x2, y2. Uh, so then this will become 0 minus 4 over top of 2 minus 2, which is negative 4 over top of 0, which we can't do. Right? We don't have a slope for this. Um, so in this case, when it's vertical lines, if you notice, both of our x values are what? 2. So when it was horizontal lines and both of our y values were 4, our equation was just y is equal to 4. Well, for vertical lines, when your x values are the same, it's just written as x is equal to 2. Because no matter what point I pick on this, I could pick any point in this line, our x value will always remain 2. So vertical lines are always written as x is equal to, and in whatever value you're at. So in this case, we're at where x is equal to 2, so it's x is equal to 2. All right, those are the two different other, the other types of equations you can have in horizontal and vertical lines. Now that's it for section 7. Um, one more section to go and then we're done this chapter.